Kai Sanat just made over a million dollars from his Twitch subathon. Now I'm not saying you can make that much on TikTok Live, but with this new update from Tickfinity, you can run your own subathon. So let's go over the simple steps to set this up. Just quickly, what is a subathon? It's a countdown timer that you put on your live stream, and every time somebody gifts or subs, the timer will increase. The simple idea is that you end your live stream when the timer hits zero. Now obviously, the higher up the timer goes, the more money you're making. Before we get started with the timer settings, we need to make some very important changes to Tickfinity. Also, if you don't have a Tickfinity account already, click the link in the description, click on the setup page and make an account. Now, unfortunately, by default, subscriber alerts are broken on Tickfinity and we need to know when somebody subscribes for this to work. So head to the setup page on Tickfinity, scroll to the bottom of the page and untick use server side connection. It says it needs to reload, so click yes. Once it's reloaded, hit the connect button here. Even if you're not live, it'll open this tab which says not found. I'm gonna close this tab and in a few seconds should get this warning on Tickfinity about a missing extension. So we just need to follow these two simple steps. Step one, I'm gonna click on this Tampa Monkey link. I'll also put it in the description. We just add it to Chrome. You can see it's got 10 million users. So it's a very well trusted extension. So I'll just click add extension and within a few seconds, it's already installed. Next up, we install this TikTok live bridge. This is basically gonna let Tickfinity connect to our live stream and see when somebody subscribes. So just click on the button here to install. It gives you this page here. Pretty simple, we just press install. If you're a programmer, you can read the code to check that it's safe. But of course, Tickfinity is a well-trusted website. So I'm just gonna click install and it puts you on this blank page here. You can just close this page out. Finally, just give Tickfinity another reload to make sure the settings are all saved properly. And now we've successfully set up Tickfinity so it can see when people subscribe. So what you'll have to do after going live is simply click on the connect button here. It's also on the start page as well. But now let's move on to setting up the actual subathon timer. To find your timer, scroll down on the list on the left, click on timer, and here's our settings page. So we have some important things to remember when we're setting this up. So firstly, one coin on TikTok gets you half of a US cent. Another way to think about it, 200 coins is $1. And the other thing is one sub on your TikTok gets you $2.10. So if I look on the settings on the timer page here, one coin adds one second on the clock and one sub adds 300 seconds. Based on my calculations here, the defaults, one coin for one second, that will make you $18 an hour and 300 seconds per sub will make you about $25 an hour. So basically by default, the Tickfinity Subathon timer is set up to make you about $20 an hour. If you wanna add time on for things that don't make you money, like follows, shares, likes, chat messages, you can add some time here. You can also do decimals. So if I want half of a second, I would go 0.5 seconds. But actually, I'm just gonna leave mine on the default because I think it's pretty fair to be around $20 an hour. Let's look at the rest of the settings, starting with the default start time. It's default to 10 minutes, just in case you don't get any coins or any subs. I'm gonna increase mine to 30 minutes. So even if nobody gives me any money, I'm still gonna stream for 30 minutes. There's a fun little thing you can do here, action on expiry. So for example, we could get it to play a siren sound or play a video or really anything when the timer expires. So I'm gonna press change. I'm gonna click create new action. And like I said, I'm gonna get mine to play a siren sound. So just click siren sound, I'll click play audio. You could upload your own sound file here, or I'm just gonna use the library of sounds. I'm gonna type in siren and I'll pick the first one. You can click play to hear it. I'll just pick the first one. Don't really need to make any more changes and I'm just gonna press save, but we will have to come back later and add this screen to Tickfinity. So we'll do that later. But for now, I'm just gonna press save. So again, what that's gonna do is when my timer hits zero, it's gonna play a siren sound. We have a few other settings here. We have the customized settings here. This just changes what the timer looks like. So by default, it's a kind of black colored background color and a white colored text. And you can also set it to hide when the timer hits zero. I'm just gonna leave mine on the defaults for now. And of course, when you wanna start your timer, we have the controls here. So you just press start when you start your stream. And if you wanna cheat, it is letting you add, manually add or remove time if you wanna increase it, decrease it. Super simple like that. 
Now, of course, we need to add it to our stream. So we're going to add it to both Live Studio if you have access to that. And we're going to add it to OBS if you have a stream key. So for both of these methods, we have to click Copy URL here. And it should say in the top right that we've copied it. Starting with Live Studio, on the left, just click Add Source and then click on Link. Then just paste it into the box here. We should be fine with the rest of the defaults. So let's click Add Source. After a few seconds, as you can see, we now have our countdown timer and we can place it wherever we want on the screen. If you're using OBS, at the bottom of OBS, under these sources, press the plus button, click on browser. I'll name this Subathon Timer. Press OK and then replace this URL with the timer URL. I'm going to click shut down source when not visible and press OK. And again, after a few seconds, here's our nice countdown timer which we can resize and move around the screen. Now, as I mentioned, if you've assigned anything to the action on expiry section here, we have to add screen one as a link source or a browser source. So to get screen one, I'm gonna click onto the actions and events page, scroll down and click on screen one's URL. This has auto copied it into the clipboard. Once again, I'm gonna add source inside Live Studio, click on link, paste it in, click add source. You're not actually gonna see anything because this one's just playing a sound but we'll test it in a second. Let's first add it to OBS if you're using OBS. So once again, add source, browser source. I'll call it screen one. I'll press okay. I'll paste it into the box here. Shut down source when not visible, press okay. And once again, there's actually nothing to see. What you will see now though, is it says the status is ready and you can test that your siren sound is working or whatever you've added by pressing the play icon underneath actions. So that's the basics of the subathon timer. The timer is best used with other parts of Tickfinity. So for example, you can use Tickfinity to put people's name on the screen when they send gifts or when they sub. You can use it to play sounds or play videos when they do either of those things. And of course, you might know how to do that already. If you don't, I'll put at the end of the video and in the description a link to my full Tickfinity guide. And using those techniques should just encourage the viewers to send more gifts and it will help increase your subs. Another little tip I would have for this is, of course, just explain to the viewers what's going on. Just tell them that whatever you've set, every coin increases the timer by a second, every sub increases it by 300 seconds. Tell them during the screen, maybe put a graphic on the screen, or make a video before you go live explaining what's happening. So up here will be a link to my full Tickfinity tutorial so that you can customize your live stream alerts even more. Subscribe if you found this useful. Thank you to the channel members, including Nicholas, my platinum channel member, and thanks for watching.